Hello Libra and welcome to Intuitive Art Mediums. Thank you for joining me for your new moon and solar eclipse in Sagittarius. Now we have the new moon on December 4th at 2.43 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So please adjust to your place on the planet. And we have the solar eclipse, which is pretty impactful for everyone. And this energy is going to be conjuncting Mars or Mercury. I'm sorry. Mercury is going to be in this energy. So Mercury is going to miss out on some details, have some blind spots. And so it's asking you to step back and look at the big picture and just trust the process. We also have Mars in Scorpio, pushing you through the challenges of change. And then we have beautiful Venus conjuncting destructive Pluto in Capricorn. Pluto's been in Capricorn for quite some time, doing some permanent changes. It's clearing out the old phases, the old ways of doing things. And it's opening up for new energy. And Venus is coming in with this lovely energy that's self-empowering. It's helping you to remember and rediscover your personal gifts that your soul came here to do. So what we're looking at in this reading, and Libra, this is a general reading for Sun, Moon, Venus, and or rising and please only go with the messages that resonate with you as this is a general reading so let's look at what's being cleared out what new phase are you making room for and what can you do during this transition to help it along or be aware of any blind spots you may encounter and keep in mind, sometimes you're not meant to see certain things. And it just helps you to stay focused on what you need to be focused. Chills. Number five. Uh, upon my flesh, within thy bones, quivers a crawling frozen in numbness. Shall I ignore? Or shall I bestow it? A frozen knowing looks back at thy soul. This is exactly what I was talking about, Libra. Do you bring forth your gifts that have lying dormant and cold? Or do you bring them forth and bestow them upon the world? Now, let's look at the wisdom of this card. Okay, number 38, to be fair. And Libra, you are all about fairness. You are the scales. You want things to be balanced and flowy. You want things to flow. And in this chill, things may have come to a standstill, um, which makes me think of the rune ice, which is the standstill, inertia, this cold numbness. But it also represents the I am, the self and you're there in your stillness. And in that stillness, your gifts are revealed to you. Regen uh, regeneration, it's that Mercury. Okay, 46, regeneration. Again, I feel like that this is a gift that someone in your family, a skill, or talent that runs in the family and it's coming back to you. Now for some of you, 
This could be a regeneration of a relationship. Okay, you may hear me take a drink of water every now and then. Okay, so there's a regeneration of something going on. This could be a relationship, coming back to an old job or an old passion that you used to enjoy doing. The world has changed, everything has shifted. And if you feel called to come back to this ancient knowledge that runs in your DNA and is now rising up, and is asking for you to recognize it. All right, let's look at your messages of light. Sagittarius does line up with the galactic center. So we all receive beautiful light downloads. Look at that, a birth and with the full moon which will occur approximately two weeks after this new moon. So, and full moons represent completion, but it's also something being illuminated in the darkness for you. And you will come to realize it as the moon begins to illuminate more and more and then you see and understand. This can also speak of dreams, a knowing. Yeah, there could be just something in your soul that you just know. You know that you're meant to do something, this skill, that it could be some kind of artistic, performing arts, painting, dancing, drawing, uh, music, but you know what it is. There could also be craftsman skills here, you know, carpentry, working with metals, jewelry making, something that you enjoy doing. And it's just kind of been sitting inside of you in the stillness and you know it's time to bring it forth and forgiveness with this wanting to be fair. You know, sometimes you have to forgive in order to just move on, to move forward. This is part of that Venus in Capricorn, conjuncting Pluto there, because Pluto is destroying things, getting rid of things that no longer work for you. And although you may be comfortable with those ways, they're, they're being recycled. And Venus is, through her forgiveness, is recycling these skills within you or relationships, because again, this is a general reading, um, but something is going to help you move forward you're going to feel good about it because it feels fair. This is also asking you to be fair to yourself as well as those around you, setting an example. Now let's go deeper with the Tarot Libra. And we start off with the Ace of Swords. This is bringing your thoughts together. This is bringing your focus onto your goal. When you give birth to something, your focus is very present on what that focus is, on what you're bringing forth, what you're regenerating. Now, for some of you, this could be a personal healing you have to maybe physically regenerate something. And it 
has changed you. It has shifted you. But in that time, it gives you an opportunity to bring forth your gift. And with the chills and the forgiveness, it could be something that, you know, it was an uncomfortable challenge. It changed everything. And you, you had to readjust. But you're coming out of that confusion now. And the King of Cups, nice. You are also mastering your emotions. You're understanding your emotions. And as you are understanding and putting past events in the past, so they're not haunting you, they're not triggering you, because you were able to forgive them. Or should I say forgive the act, forgive the situation, because sometimes people do things to other people that are unforgivable, unforgivable. But the only way for you to move on is to forgive yourself of being angry and allowing that event to keep you tied to a past situation, preventing you from moving forward. And then we have the emperor, very nice. You come into your own power. You have decided both mind and heart that you are going to rebuild your life in a more powerful way. And then you have the seven of pentacles. And this is the time of ripening, the time of knowing, knowing the right time to act, to respond, to move forward. And you know that now's the time to move forward. And here we have temperance. This is the balancing of your mind, body, and soul. Perhaps you have been out of balance intellectually and emotionally because you've been haunted and triggered by something in the past, something that was unfair, something that made you close yourself off to the world, to become numb in order to come back to heal yourself. And now your, your time is here. You're healing that. You're ready to be reborn. You're ready to step out into the world. And you know also that without this situation of discomfort, without that challenge, you would not have changed the way that you have changed. And you wouldn't have learned the lessons that you needed to learn about yourself in order to heal your situations of the past so that you can move forward. And that's going to bring about a great healing in mind, body, and spirit. Here you have the mind and heart. Here you're, you're bringing in that spiritual energy, that divine energy, the flow of balance, and it feels right. And look at that, the world. You are ready to be back out into the world, to be recognized, to accomplish what you came here to do. Next we have the Two of Pentacles. This is a card of balance and perhaps this has to do with the forgiveness. And the to be fair here with the forgiveness, for some of you Libras, this could have something to do with a lawsuit, contracts, something that didn't go right, so it got litigated, um, 
or brought to the attention of supervisors and things had to be mediated. And with the pentacles, this is that flow. But, and you're returning to that flow. Something has been forgiven. Something has been uh, balanced. There's restitution here. Okay, six of swords, yeah. The restitution, the healing. You're ready to move on from those troubled waters and move into the calming, healing waters. And this could also be you going away on a little vacation to readjust, to retransition everything within you so that you are balanced in mind, heart, and soul. Okay, let's look at what doors are going to be opening up for you, Libra. Okay, and here is your door. And we have, look at that, 11, 11. And it also looks like the astrological sign of Gemini. So this is numbers in doubles, synchronicity in two. Don't hold back your love now. Life is meant for you. Yes, you are meant to bring forth. Don't hold back. Here is your next door. Look at that birth. This is confirmation to this birth card right here. You are giving birth to a new idea, a new way of doing things, a new lease on your life. This could also, for some of you, a new relationship, or actually having a birth, having a child. So another gateway appears in view. New life is unfolding with blessings to you. Yes, this is asking you to trust the, the process. Pay attention to synchronicities. This is how uh, your spirit guides are going to communicate with you. And it could be through numbers or other repetitive things. This could also happen in dreams, giving you this knowingness when you wake up. Okay, Libra, I'm going to end your reading here. I hope that you found it helpful and beneficial. And until next time, take care.